Okay, I'm going to spend a few minutes uh, teaching you how to distribute when you have division. Now, the first thing I want you to understand is that dividing by 6 is the same as... So dividing by 6 is the same as multiplying by 1 6. So when you see dividing by 6, which you do here, I want you to just think of multiplying by 1 6. So if dividing by 6 is the same as multiplying by 1 6, I can distribute just like before because I already know how to distribute fractions. So that's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute my 6 to both my 18x and my negative 12. All right. Uh, you need to be making these notes yourself right now, so you should be, uh, take out your notes from the other day, and I want you to add these three examples to your notes. Okay? So uh, chunk it just like always, and then you say 18x divided by 6 is 3x. And then negative 12, make sure you see the chunk is a negative. Negative 12 divided by a positive 6 is a negative 2. Done. Real easy. All right, next problem. All right, chunk it just like before. Dividing by negative 5 is the same as multiplying by negative 1 fifth. So what I'm going to do is just divide everything by negative 1 fifth. I'm sorry, multiply everything by negative 1 fifth, which is dividing by a negative 5. So I'm going to chunk it. I'm going to chunk it, and I'm going to divide this by a negative 5, and I'm going to divide that by a negative 5. Now be careful with the signs here. Divide each one by negative 5. So negative 20x divided by negative 5. Negative divided by negative is positive. 20 divided by 5 is 4x. And then we have negative 15 divided by a negative 5 makes a positive, make sure it's positive, 3. Real simple. If you get this skill down, I, I cannot stress to you enough how important this skill is later when we get into graphing lines. When we get into graphing lines, this is a skill we're going to need over and over again. So if you get good at this now, graphing lines is going to be easy for you. Okay? Uh, here's the last problem. This one's a little bit trickier. I'm sorry, we got two more problems. But this one's a little bit trickier, so let's, let's work on this one together. So, oh, actually, this one is not tricky. So chunk it. Right? You're going to divide everything by 6. 18x divided by a positive 6 is a positive 3x. And negative 12 divided by 6 is a negative 2. So it's 3x minus 2. All right? Now, sometimes, as in example 19, uh, when you divide, you're not going to get pretty numbers. And when that happens, you need to leave them as fractions. Just make sure you simplify them. So notice what's going to happen here. I'm going to divide negative 4 by negative 6. Well, I don't want to turn that into a decimal. Absolutely do not turn that into a decimal. Leave it as a fraction. All right, so let's do that. Chunk it just like always, right? Chunk it. Negative 4 divided by a negative 6 is a positive 4, 6, right? X. Negative 20 divided by a negative 6 is a positive 20 over 6, right? Now, if you wrote that as your answer, um, I would count it wrong, because now you have to simplify the fraction. 4 6 is really 2 thirds x, and 20 divided by 6 is really 10 thirds. I don't want you to write it as a, mix, as a mixed number. Leave it as an improper fraction. They're totally OK. So we have 2 thirds x plus 10 thirds. So there you have it, distributing negatives, uh, distributing division, and all you do is you distribute it just like before. Like I said, 18 divided by that, 18 divided by that. Negative uh, 20x divided by negative 5, negative 15 divided by negative 5. 18x divided by 6, negative 12 divided by 6. And finally, negative 4x divided by negative 6, and negative 20 divided by negative 6. There you have it. Uh, good luck on your assignment tonight, and uh, see you on Monday.